Sukabumi is the largest district on Java Island and one of the tourism paradises in West Java whose beauty is recognized by the world. However, there is a potential disaster that lacks this beauty. Sukabumi is the area with the third highest disaster potential in Indonesia. What should be done to anticipate the potential disaster? I am Topik Rahman, the representative of Nusa Putra University at Pemilihan Mahasiswa Berprestasi Nasional 2021. We can play the idea of ecological disaster threats in Sukabumi and its prevention efforts. The beauty of Sukabumi has been recognized by the world through UNESCO since 2015, which has designated Sukabumi as an international geopark location. Its location, which is close to the Jabodetabek Megapolitan Area, makes Sukabumi a prima donna for tourism investors. The Indonesian government also encourages the advancement of the Sukabumi tourism industry by accelerating infrastructure development in Sukabumi. The national mega projects of Cikembar Airport, Dabertrek Sukabumi Bogor, and Bochimi Torhut are national strategic projects aimed at increasing access to Sukabumi. The impact is an increase in investment value reaching 35% in the last five years. Looks good for the economy, but not the environment. The massive development that occurred turned out to have a direct impact on the destruction of terrestrial ecosystem in Sukabumi. The conversion of land from forest and agricultural land into industry, property, and infrastructure is the beginning of an ecological disaster sans floods, landslide, and ground movements. The National Disaster Relief Agency of Sukabumi records 1,500 disasters occur every year, with losses reaching 71 billion rupees. The value of the loss reached almost 50% in the increase in investment in Sukabumi Regency which raised 160 billion rupees per year. Prevention efforts are mandatory things that must be done to avoid the threat of this ecological disaster. What can we do? Is there enough time to do it? First, the Sukabumi Regency government must map disaster-prone areas as the basis for drafting a regional regulation on special planning. Second, the government together with the Sukabumi Regency, local government must drop an urban planning regional regulation that answers the sustainability of environmental ecosystem and the availability of conservation land and green land. Third, the government guarantees the consistency of the implementation of the regional regulation on urban planning and provides string sanction for those who violate. But the threat of its implementation is the participation of community. So the government has to be conducted massive socialization to the community to participate in preventing future ecological disaster. As part of society, I invite all of you to open our eyes. Our greed for the environment indeed gives an increase in the economy. But at the same time, it will turn again as and destroy all progress has been made. The threat of this ecological disaster is so real and is already in front of our eyes. We have a little time before the disaster strikes and in the end, only our awareness to life in harmony with the environment can prevent it.